I'm Tara Schwartz. You're listening to Health Matters. Last week, we introduced you to an upcoming event called MUHC's Got Talent. It's the first edition of a talent show, which will showcase the not-so-hidden talents of the healthcare professionals who work at the MUHC. Andre Bonici is the pharmacist-in-chief at the hospital. He is also an a cappella singer and will be performing at MUHC's Got Talent, which takes place November 16th at Montreal's Corona Theatre. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. So how long have you been with the MUHC, Andre? Uh, well, as a pharmacist, I'm going on 30 years this year. So quite a long wow. time. And I actually worked as a student before that for uh, four years. So I, I, you can say I'm pretty much a product of, uh, of the MUHC. Amazing. So tell us a little bit about what you do there. Uh, your title is Pharmacist-in-Chief. That's correct. So uh, basically, it's, uh, I run the operations of the pharmacy department on all sites. And uh, basically, I'm ultimately uh, responsible to make sure that the pharmacy, um, you know, meets standards, that the practice of both my pharmacists and my technicians are up to par with um, the norms and that we provide the safest uh, medication care that we can. So someone approached you and said, what do you think about performing in MUHC's Got Talent? What did you first think when you heard about it? (laughs) Well, I must say that the, when I first heard about it, uh, this was actually from a physician doctor, um, uh, which I know for many years, and we had discussed this, <laughs> discussed you know different musicals. Because I knew he was in a band and I was in a band, so we had a lot of fun uh, discussing music. But then when they uh, approached me, I said, "Oh my God, you know," and I'm not. Uh, I was kind of frightened at first, but at the same time, I was excited to know that you know uh, other physicians and uh, colleagues would be taking part and so i sort Mm -hmm. of was very excited to say oh you know this this will be a very cool experience i think so tell us about your talent what will people be hearing from you at this this big event on november 16th so mainly uh where i've gotten um uh, the offer to uh, present the acapella band because we have a band basically who's been running for well basically almost 30 years uh just like i've been here at the muhc and this band has both a cappella and non with instruments, but in this case, we're going to be presenting only the a cappella version. So you'll be hearing some songs, you know, well known songs uh, that are going to be performed only by our voices. And uh, we're, a five, we're five people in the band. And so um, it's going to be a little bit like a barbershop uh, affair, it's, <laughs> uh, you know, very um, sort of uh, old school a cappella. We're speaking with Andre Bonici, the pharmacist-in-chief at the MUHC and a performer in the upcoming fundraising talent show, MUHC's Got Talent. How many people are in your band, Andre? Uh, There's five of us, uh, including myself. And what are you going to be fundraising for? So we've got a bunch of projects uh, that we need to uh, a bit of funds for at the pharmacy. So one of them is... um, a uh, medication uh, research unit, which we're working on. Uh, So there's already, we support a lot of research from uh, physicians in the department, but now we're also having a, uh, working on a unit which would study more medication that we're already using in the hospital, sort of of, uh, drug safety and different topics uh, like that, which uh, the pharmacists would actually be the main researchers. But in order to do that, we need Uh, help. We need people to collect the data. We need uh, computer uh, analysts uh, and that kind of thing. So those are the funds that we're looking for so we can contract out some of these uh, tasks and have the unit up and running hopefully by next year. So if you would like to vote for Andre Bonici or any of the other healthcare professionals performing in MUHC's Got Talent, just head over to muhcfoundation.com. You'll find what you need. Each vote is a $10 donation, and that goes to a cause close to the hearts of those performing. You just you just heard Andre tell you what he's going to be raising money for. Um, you can also join the MUHC Foundation at the big event. It's taking place November 16th at the Corona Theater. Tickets are also available at muhcfoundation.com. Are you very used to performing in public, Andre, or is this going to be sort of a, a, a new experience for you and your band? I feel like you've done this before. Yeah, we have. So actually, we started uh, way back, like I said, 30 years ago. So uh, we, uh, for the acapella version, I would say um, our experience has been quite uh, quite funny because it actually started in old Montreal. 
and it was sort of really unofficial. We were having uh, supper, uh, the, the, all of us, and we started just singing on a terrace. And, uh, you know, after that, we said, you know, that was kind of cool. And people sort of gathered <laughs> around us. <laughs> so we we uh, we decided after that, that, you know what, you know, this is maybe an, a good addition to the band that we already had going. And so we started performing in different, uh, you know, part of actually our performances were for fundraisers. We've done a few of those uh, nice. so for the school system, other hospitals, uh, certain other uh, events. And we've performed in a few festivals um, and uh, and Canada Day actually a few years back we uh, we uh, we had a uh, uh, contract there where we did a um, you know an hour uh, this was a few years back which is quite a quite an interesting experience so we we do have experience I wouldn't say we're you know, none of us just do this professionally uh, but we've done uh, quite a few shows and I think uh, we've you know we've mounted a, a significant amount of experience and. Uh, we're always very excited, and you know I must say that all my other buddies, uh, they're they're quite good singers. So uh, even though nobody does it as for a living, they're uh, they're they've got good voices, good good musicians. So it'll be fun. And I, it will be fun, absolutely. Now, I, you are up against uh, you know a bunch of other MUHC healthcare professionals. Is there a bit of a competitive aspect there, or are you sort of rooting for each other at the same time? Well, it's a very friendly competition for sure, but uh, you know that's a good uh, way to put I, it. <laughs> I, we know we got to we got to look at each other's uh, uh, what do you call it the um, you know the sort of demo tape uh, that people uh, gave in, which were videos for the most part, and so mm -hmm. everybody's sort of looking at each other, saying, "Oh wow, you know he's quite good. I didn't know he was that good," and so it's quite fun, uh, but it's very uh, amica amicable. So everybody's Absolutely. sort of rooting for each other. We're going on each other's social media, encouraging. Them, so. <laughs> So we're really, That's you know, great. more sort of together. But uh, of course, the day of the competition, there will be no friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's a, it's a really fun start. You're the second performer that we've talked to on the show, and we'll be featuring the others as well. So if you'd like to vote for Andre Bonici, his a cappella group, or any of the other healthcare professionals, head to muhcfoundation.com. And that's where you'll find what you need. And feel free to buy tickets to the big event as well if you want to see everybody performing live. That's also on muhcfoundation.com. And it's November 16th at Montreal's Corona Theater. Andre, I want to thank you so much for your time today. It was fun talking to you. And I wish you great luck in your fundraising efforts and, uh, and look forward to seeing you perform live. Excellent. It was my pleasure. Thanks.